Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, called on citizens not to align themselves with malicious attempts to sow strife in the strong relations between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Bahraini Society. His Highness called upon all citizens not to pay attention to the seditious and social accounts of the media, the rumors and lies that do not reflect the customs and traditions of Bahrainis, stressing the importance of taking the most stringent and resolute measures against all threats undermining civil and community peace. His Highness added that at the same time, he will not be complacent with anyone who tampers with the leaders of Bahrain and undermines the royal self of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness strongly warned any party using His Highness's name in any manner in this strife. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Horse Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa, fifth locally bred Pure Arabian Horse Production Beauty Contest was launched under the supervision and organization of the Arabian Horse Organization and in cooperation with the Royal Equestrian and Horsing Race Federation at Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stated that the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa contest comes within the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue supporting the sport which has a historical link to the heritage and in line with the vision of His Majesty the King as an important aspect of the history of Bahrain and its culture. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the championship has made a remarkable development in the process of production of Arabian horses. His Highness expressed his pride in the continued organization of the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa contest, affirming its success thanks to the efforts of the Royal Equestrian and Horsing for Race Federation under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the wide participation of the owners and stables, pointing out that the high levels in the contest promote the sport of Arabian horses. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stated that the Dubai World Horse Race Cup is not only a sport but a national UAE project that moves all sectors of the country, especially economic and tourism, to turn the Emirate of Dubai into the focus of attention of the world. Marking the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the future vision and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Dubai, to the Dubai World Cup made it the best horse racing in the world, which attracts many owners and riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said the followers of the Dubai World Cup concludes with many lessons and noble meanings in the field of horse racing, the most prominent of which is the honest competition between all the riders and horses. His Highness said the participation in the Dubai World Horse Racing Cup is not limited to owners and riders only but the race is being followed by a wide range of UAE nationals and residents as well as people from abroad. A Bahraini parliamentary delegation concluded a three-day visit to Russia at an official invitation from the Russian State Duma. The first deputy speaker Ali Al Aradi head of the delegation said that the activation of the parliamentary diplomacy comes in line with the vision of His Majesty the King in partnership with the Russian President for strengthening parliamentary relations which contributes to the consolidation of relations between the two countries at all levels. The delegation met with the Vice President of the Russian State Duma, Sergei Neverov, who stressed his country's keenness to push for more cooperation and consolidating common relations in all fields. The delegation also met with the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister, Mikhail Bogdanov, coordinator of the Strategic Vision Group Russia Islamic World, Venamin Popov, 
and also held a joint meeting with the members of the Russian Bahraini Parliamentary Group. And joining us now to discuss more about the visit is the Member of Parliament, Mr. Mohammed al Joder. Hello, Mr. Mohammed. Hi, hello. Yes, uh, regarding the delegation visit, could you tell us what was the result of the visit? Actually, uh, first of all, I'd like just to thank the Bahrain TV for this uh, interview. And uh, I can tell you this is one of the most succeeded uh, visits to Russia. Uh, and that will go to the uh, decision of the uh, chairman, of the uh, Bahrain chairman, uh, Mr. Ahmed Ahmed al Mullah, which is always looking to open a gate with the other uh, friendly uh, parliament. Uh, I can tell you this is we decided with the leaders of the uh, Russian uh, pe uh, uh, Russian people that we consider Bahrain is an open gate for the Russian to to enter or to 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 uh, globes and the economical things to to this century. Uh, today uh, we decided with the with the. Uh, uh, the deputy of the prime minister, uh, the deputy of the foreign uh, minister. Uh, I, I don't want to extend, and that's all that I can tell you. That's all. We decided that to consider Bahrain as a friendly, as a friendly, uh, uh, as a friendly country, and we decided to 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 look after the economic uh, uh, economics. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the other thing is uh, uh, politics and and the and uh, politics and the trade. Uh, we will consider and focusing on the uh, in the couple of the months that we will consider on the trading and with the economic and to see the way as the um, uh, open gate to the GCC country. Uh, I can tell you that one. Uh, we are enhancing the 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 Bahraini people, which they are making trading training with the European countries to concentrate on the Russian, because Russia has has had a lot of the uh, you know factories uh, dealing with the dealing with, with the uh, you know uh, agriculture and uh, you, you know animals and. We need lots of things. I think the uh, Russian would like to 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 make a, an ex exchange a trade between the Bahraini, between the Russian and the GCC country. Uh, we hope we hope in the in a couple of months we can do lots of things and enhance the relationship between two countries in all aspects. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed, for, for having uh, us ask this question to you, and we appreciate your response. Thank you. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa VI, Bahrain for All Festival was held at the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Park in Hid to showcase unity and harmony amongst the kingdom's various communities. More details in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain for all is not just a slogan, it's true. And if you come to Bahrain, you will experience yourself the friendly, tolerant and relaxing atmosphere. Today's festival emphasizes the values of love and coexistence that characterize the Bahraini society. It's not so different with my country. People here are very friendly, helpful and uh, the environment is very, very very nice, very convenient for us, so we are happy here. We are very proud to be here representing our country. As we all know that Bahrain is like a home away from home. We live here in different nationality, different cultures, different religion, uh, practicing the way we want. Bahrain has welcomed all of us and we are very proud and very grateful. So we are here today to, to pay tribute to Bahrain for giving us the opportunity to live with our children, with our family, like home. And we have Thai community here, and we are from the Embassy of Thailand. We are very, very proud to be a part of this. This is a great, fun experience. It's like full with happiness. Everyone that come here enjoy. 
The festival provides a great platform showcasing cultural diversity of all citizens and residents and fostering a spirit of unity in diversity bringing together more than 55,000 Bahrainis and residents representing 41 embassies, clubs, societies and organizations. Bahrain will come for everyone and every uh, Bahrain home for everyone. It's our uh, second country here. Uh, our children feel uh, uh, there is no difference between our children and, and Bahraini uh, children. They feel uh, the same in school, in education, in religion, everything they are the same. Many activities and a series of performances by Bahraini folklore groups as well as performances from the participating countries provide an opportunity for cultural exchange and a great atmosphere. We love Bahrain. Really, really awesome. Give it the, such a kind place for us. Really, we are appreciated from bottom of the heart. Thanks a lot, Bahrain and the, all the Bahrain nation, all the people. Bahrain is keen to support all that promotes solidarity and harmony within the Bahraini society. No wonder that Bahrain has been named the best destination globally for expats in a survey by Internations. Such bond and love reflects the fact that Bahrain is a cradle of civilizations and a country that is open to all cultures, religions and peoples. Whoever you are, Bahrain can always be your home. Bahrain for all and all for Bahrain. Bahrain is the land that doesn't know discrimination and this event showcases the cultural diversity of all the people that call Bahrain home. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel